If you're looking for some new cocktails to help you enjoy the season, look no further. A resident mixologist, Dave Kiawa from PA Fine Wine and Spirits is here. And actually, we're talking about an event that's coming up, the Pittsburgh Wine and Spirits Festival, right? That's going to have a whole host of spirits and wine providers. And so what I thought would be great today, because these spirits will be featured at the event, if you purchase those and bring them home, this is something fun that you can do with them. All right, so you have three different drinks to show us. The first one do. is called a Pineapple Express. It's called a Pineapple okay. Express, and what anchors that is a local product called Maggie Farms Rum. And I've had that before. Yes, this is their 50-50 Pineapple Rum. So we're gonna do a half an ounce of that, a half ounce of coconut water, then I've made some brown sugar simple syrup. So that simple oh, syrup made okay. half with brown sugar, half with water and also fresh lime juice. So we're gonna put all those ingredients into our cocktail shaker, and we'll go ahead and shake that up. You know what, I just love uh, what it looks like when you serve it. I mean, this is great with the pineapple slice on it, it's beautiful. Makes me feel like we're at the beach on the Allegheny or the Mon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take any of the rivers in one of those, or the beach, you know, the actual beach of the ocean. Any any of them would make this wonderful. It's Perfect. wonderful on its own. All right, so you have one more for us here. I do. So this is called the Skinny Seed Spicy Margarita, and it starts out with 21 seeds. This is a jalapeno cucumber infused tequila, which is really oh, kind of wow. fun. So it's okay. a little twist on a margarita. Then we're going to use simple syrup and also lime juice. So two ounces of tequila. We're going to use one half ounce of fresh lime juice and one half ounce of simple syrup. We're going to take and put that into our cocktail shaker. The cucumber part of it, uh, you know, I've had cucumber and gin before, but cucumber and tequila is something different for me. Well, what, what I really love about this is it has the spice from the jalapeno, but also the coolness from the cucumber. So it really balances it out. This glass is so big. <laughs> it's like, I love this. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm yeah. taking this one with me. Although I, I think we're switching sides yeah. here. We're moving yeah. over on this side. So for the last one, we have the Kentucky Derby coming up on the 7th of May. Okay. And Maker's Mark is gonna be at the Pittsburgh Wine and Spirits Festival. So I thought it'd be perfect to make what is a classic Kentucky Derby cocktail. And that is the mint julep. And I have no idea how to make this. Well, I've never even had one. You're going to learn and you're going to do this one. Okay. So oh, we, really? <laughs> we have a whole bunch of fresh mint here, David. Okay. Right? So grab a bunch of that French fresh mint mm -hmm. and bruise it up in your fingers. Kind of go like this so back just, and forth. Yeah, just bruise sort of it up, crush it up and get up. The, the juices or flavor out of it. Exactly. Then take okay. your julep glass and rub it around the inside of the julep glass. Okay. All so the way around. Oh, you mean down just the on rim the or in the inside on too? On the inside. Okay. And just leave it sit in there. Okay, just plop it in there just and plop let it, it in, in there. there. As a garnish, sort mm -hmm. of. We're going to add two ounces of Maker's Mark 46, which is a straight Kentucky bourbon. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add a half an ounce of simple syrup. It's really an easy cocktail to make, and it's really super classic, David. I mean, there is nothing more classic than a mint julep for Kentucky Derby Day. I don't know why I thought it would be like white and frothy or something, a mint julep. It's Maker's Mark and simple syrup. Well, there is. there are some takes on it where you can add a little bit of club soda. So when you taste okay. this, you're going to notice it's pretty strong. So if you want to put a little club soda in there and give it a little fizz, you can do that. I don't mind it right the way it is, Dave. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> no, it really is. We have Hampton Water. This is a Languedoc Rosé, and uh, Jesse Bon Jovi, the son of John Bon Jovi, yeah. this is his winery, and he'll be there to sign the bottles. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So you'll have that. Finally, we have Naughty Vines, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Olivia Wright is the winemaker there, and she'll be there to sign those bottles as well. So what's really perfect is not only will you go there and taste these products, but you also get to meet the people who are behind the products. Right, and That's learn really some fun. of the story. Because exactly. that makes it even better whenever you know all that. Yes. All right, you have three winners here. These were all delicious. I'm taking this one back with me, I think, because uh, it's fantastic. Dave, as always, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. My pleasure, thank you. All right, if you'd like these recipes for these selections and more from PA Fine Wine and Good Spirits, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com.